We are here today to fix the anterior talofibular ligament using the all knotless lateral ankle instability system. For this case, we use the internal brace ligament augmentation procedure and DX knotless fiber tax. The system is a great option for patients with chronic ankle instability or lateral ankle laxity. Preoperatively, the patient has complained about ankle instability. On physical exam, she demonstrated laxity on anterior drawer test. As you can see in the preoperative MRI, the imaging demonstrates injury to the ATFL consistent with the patient's complaints. So, without further ado, let's get in there. I position the patient in the supine position. In patients without perineal pathology, I prefer to make an incision anterior to the lateral malleolus. Initial dissection is through skin and subcutaneous tissue. And in patients with painful ankles, first scope the ankle joint looking for evidence of osteochondral lesions, loose bodies, or impinging lesions. In patients without perineal pathology, I prefer to make an incision anterior to the lateral malleolus. Initial dissection is through skin and subcutaneous tissue. The inferior extensor retinaculum is then mobilized for later repair. Drill the K-wire with a targeting sleeve in the guide into non-articular area of talus and drill back into the body and parallel to the bottom of the foot. Confirm with fluoroscopy that your K-wire is in the correct position both medial lateral and anterior posterior. Preparation of the talus is performed with a 3.4 millimeter cannulated drill and a 4.75 millimeter cannulated tap. Remove the K-wire and then gently mallet the 4.75 millimeter swivel lock through the guide until the anchor body is on bone and then hold the paddle and turn the driver handle to lock in the collagen coated fiber tape into the talus. When the line in the window of the inserter meets the line on the outside of the inserter, the anchor is two millimeters countersunk in the talus. Place the fiber tape to the side and move your attention to preparing the fibula. Prep the fibula for the DX knotless fiber tack anchors for a primary repair of the ATFL. Drill one centimeter from the distal tip of the fibula with a 1.8 millimeter K wire. Implant the DX knotless fiber tack anchor with gentle malleting until the driver is flush with the slotted drill guide. Do not advance the guide any further with the mallet as it could compromise the cortex. Unload the anchor driver and drill. Do not set the anchor. Repeat the steps for the second DX knotless fiber tack anchor, one to 1.5 centimeters above and anterior to the first DX knotless fiber tack anchor. Again, not setting the anchor. In the center of the two brostrum anchors, but slightly more lateral than the anchors, use a 3.4 millimeter drill. Prepare for the 3.5 millimeter biocomposite swivel lock. Pass the needles from the DX knotless fiber tack through the ATFL in a mattress fashion and cut the needle off at the first purple marking closest to the needle. Pass the end of the working blue suture through the loop end of the shuttle white black suture and double it over at the second purple marking. Pinch and hold, then pull the tape end of the white black shuttling suture actually and in line with the drill tunnel of the DX knotless fiber tack until tension is felt. Then use short, quick jigs to shuttle the stitch through the anchor. Make sure the foot is in the desired position. Neutral dorsiflexion and maximum eversion and then pull the knotless tensionable technology until the desired tension is met. Cut the sutures flush. To set the position of the fiber tape, place the foot in neutral or slight plantar flexion and mark the bottom laser line on the collagen coated fiber tape. Pull the eyelet back to the inside of the mark on the fiber tape and implant the 3.5 millimeter swivel lock completing the internal brace ligament augmentation. Cut the remaining fiber tape. The inferior retinaculum is finally mobilized and sewn over the repair. As you saw in there, the DX knotless fiber tax combined with the internal brace ligament augmentation procedure is perfect for surgeons who treat lateral ankle instability with an all knotless system. It's my preferred choice of fixation for all primary lateral ankle instability cases. This proven system gives me confidence to help my patients get back to life quicker and I can confidently start the patient in accelerated rehabilitation much sooner with this method than previous methods. My post-op protocol is as follows. The patient is splinted for two weeks non-weight-bearing. At two weeks, the sutures are removed and the patient is made weight-bearing and a protective boot. 
At four weeks, the patient starts physical therapy. And at six weeks, we transition from a boot to an ankle brace. Thank you very much.